Lodi with the interception. Oh, uh, Yunusi. Here he goes again. Can't stop this guy. Nice! And the turn. And the finesse. Oh! <laughs> What up guys, I hope you are enjoying your day. This episode will be on a guy from Norway, storyline player. Yeah, his name is El Yunusi. Yunusi? I don't know. Let's find out and see. What's up guys and welcome back to another FIFA 20 player review. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at El Yunusi and why I unlocked him instead of the others. And we're gonna see how he performs in game. But before we start, if you're new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button. We're getting so close to 250 subs. All right, let's dive in. All right, guys, let's start with Yanis Haji. He has high medium work rate, three star skill moves and five star weak foot. For a cam, high medium is good. Three star skill moves sucks a little bit because he has to, you know, outsmart the defenders to set up a chance. He has 93 pace with 95 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. That is phenomenal. He has 87 short pass, 85 long pass for a cam is also really good. 98 agility, 89 dribbling, 86 ball control are really fantastic dribbling stats balance reactions and composure is a little bit low on this guy 97 stamina is phenomenal so this guy is a monster his shooting is okay 90 long shots is phenomenal 86 shot power is also great so for cam you can use this guy for long shots outside the box his finishing 83 is a little bit low also his attacking positioning 82 isn't that great so I like what I see. For a cam, these stats are good. He has great passing. He is also great long shots, super fast with great stamina. Uh, it's just that balance, reactions and composure that are a little bit low. And that's why I think he might not feel really great on the ball. But for the rest of the stats, I mean, this guy can be a really good cam. Let's see what the others got. So next player is Juan Nagudelo. I hope I pronounce his name well. He is an American who plays as a striker in the MLS. He has a high high work rate, which is not ideal. I love the high low work rate on a striker. Four star skill moves, five star weak foot is absolutely fantastic. Looking at his pace, 93 pace with 90 acceleration, 94 sprint speed is phenomenal. Finishing 83 isn't that high and 79 long shots isn't that great either. He does have 96 shot power and 89 attacking positioning though, but his finishing isn't that great. Looking at his dribbling, we see 98 agility, which is awesome, but 62 balance. Whoa, that's just low. This guy will fall off. <laughs> he has 81 reactions, which isn't great either. 88 ball control, 90 dribbling, 86 composure is great. Stamina 82 is also pretty low, but you know, a striker maybe he doesn't really need it, but he has high, high work rate, so he will run out of juice. Jumping 95 with 89 heading accuracy is great. So this guy's probably pretty tall and that's why he's not able to move so well. 85 strength, 90 aggression is great as well. 89 passing, short pass is good as well, but I don't know, at this point in the game there are so many better strikers out there. So then I prefer Haji over this card for sure. Let's see what the third player has to offer. Alright, third player, Mohamed El Yunusi, medium medium work rate. I prefer the high attacking work rate on my left mid. Four star, four star is excellent. Alright, that's good, that's good. Then he has 91 pace, 94 acceleration, 87 sprint speed, which is great. His dribbling is absolute fantastic. 96 agility, 95 balance, 88 reactions, 93 ball control, 93 dribbling. I love it. 80 composure is a little bit on the low side. He does have 91 stamina, which is good because he's probably going to run up and down the pitch for you. 96 jumping with 80 heading accuracy and 74 strength, 59 aggression. So he's not really that strong, but he's really quick and he's good in dribbling. If we take a look at his shooting, we see 90 shot power, which is great. 83 long shots is a little bit low. If you use him as a winger, yeah, you're probably gonna uh, throw some long shots in there. 83 finishing and 85 attacking positioning isn't that great either. So this guy isn't the best in shooting. Taking a look at his passing, we see 90 short pass, 87 a long pass with 84 vision. So that is good. 
So this guy is pretty similar to the Haji guy. So that's a, that's a tough choice. So I think I'll go for El Yunusi. Haji does have better long shots, but the dribbling from Haji isn't that great. But most importantly, Haji only has three star skill moves. If, if Haji had four star skill moves, I would have gone for Haji, but El Yunusi four star, four star is great. And with that agility and balance, I think this guy will feel really fast and quick on the ball. So yeah, I, I wonder how this guy will play in game. I think I'll throw a Maestro chem style on him. That will boost his dribbling and passing with plus five and his shooting plus four. So hopefully that will give him just a little bit extra to get the job done. All right. Let's put him uh, in game and see what this guy got. Gattuso. On to El Yunusi. Best. Back to El Yunusi. Rainbow flag. Ooh, lost the ball there. Carrasco got it. El Yunusi. Ooh. Wrong turn. Still got the ball though. Still got the ball though. Oof, that shot though. Shot power 99. Jesus. Still got the ball. This guy. Oof. If he go on to El Yunusi, for speed. Carrasco on to best. El Yunusi making a run. There we go, El Yunusi. Heal the heal. Nice. And the chip. Ooh, I mean, that chip was also shot power 99, man. Why so hard? Jesus, come on. Carrasco. El Yunusi. Got some space. And the shot. Oof. That was not the best finish there. Ayafico with the moves on to best. Uh, you know, see with the shot. Ooh, finessed it, but the goalie has it. Not far enough in the corner. Gattuso on to best. Uh, you know, see he's through in the shot. Ah, that angle was tough. Great save by the goalie. Stop him. Oh man, defender. Bruh. Bruh. And the run. El Carrasco with the turn. Best. Tallafico. Still got the ball. Oh, you know, see, nice heel to heel and the shot. Why did he shoot it through the middle? I was pressing to the far corner. Come on. Horsby. Lodi. Nice turn. And the shot. Oh, rebound. Man, my left back can do the job better than my left mid. <laughs> uh, you know, see. This guy is so agile and quick on the turns. I love it. Nice. Ball roll. Nice. And the shot. Again, come on. Stop shooting it through the middle, man. Lodi. Gattuso. Back to Lodi. El Yunusi. Oof. Bushes. Nice. And the pass. Oof. The volley from Lodi. I mean, it's my left back, but what a what an attack. Lodi with the interception. El Yunusi. Here he goes again. Can't stop this guy. Nice. And the turn. And the finesse. Oh. <laughs> Wow, all right, this guy already has missed like eight or nine chances, but holy shit, this guy, this action was fantastic. What a finish with that right-footed finesse. This is how you should play him. Manalas, Miranda. Gattuso, nice. Lodi. You know, see, making the run. He's through. What can he do? Can he make some magic happen? Nice turn. Ah, yeah, that was tough. Too much, too much skeletus. Lodi. On to El Yunusi. Nice pass. Joshua King. That's great. Created space and the shot. On the post. It is not a game if you don't hit the post. El Yunusi, he's through. With the dribble. And stop me. There we go. And nice. Pass. Oof, shot blocked. Great dribble by El Here he goes again. Ooh, the rainbow flick. Nice. 
great ball roll. And a beautiful pass. Can we make something happen? Uh, horrible pass. Chamberlain still got the ball. The Ox. No, no, no. Ox late. Nice dribbling. Onto Lodi. The Yunusi. Taunting the opponents. Nice. This guy's like a mosquito, man. Can't stop me. Ox late. Yeah, yeah. El Yunusi. Oh, that ball roll, though. I almost was through. El Yunusi. Nice. Some space there. This guy's really quick. Some space in the center. There we go. Ox late and the shot. Again, the post. Jesus, second time Oxlade. Manolas, what a long pass was that? 29 passing. Now you know see. With some drag backs. Nice. Oh, he's through, he got some space. Nice pass. Ah, hold the ball. Free kick. Intercepts the ball, Gattuso. With a great pass onto El Yunusi. Nice turn. And a pass. And a shot. There we go. An assist. That's how you have to play El Yunusi. You know, run him down the wing and make sure you get the assist in. Don't shoot with this guy because he cannot shoot for shit. This was a good pass though. Iniesta with the left footed finish. Beyond to best. Iniesta. Gattuso. Lodi back to Gattuso, nice build up. Iniesta onto El Yunusi. This guy's so dangerous. Nice. Great dribble. Heal to heal. Ah, I couldn't deliver the pass there. El Yunusi with the rainbow. Ah, oh, should have should have played the pass there. Still got the ball though. Nice moves. Nice ball roll. Still have it. Ooh, four defenders were needed. Manolas van de Sar. Van de Sar thinks he's El Yunusi with the dribble. Manolas. Oh, don't lose the ball there. Gets it back. So strong, this guy. Iniesta. Lodi. El Yunusi is through. Rainbow flick. Ooh, how did the goalie stop that one? With the head? Seriously? Ah, oh, man. Come on. Zanetti stops Zidane. Ah, uh, uh, the rebound. So ugly. Absolute fucking useless. Holy shit. Look at that stamina. This guy's dead and he started 100%. Just balanced tactics. El Yunusi. Iniesta pass it. Why didn't he pass? Wow. Oh. Come on. Iniesta, he shot. Come on, man. I don't understand. I did the one two, but Iniesta didn't pass. He just did another touch and then it was too late. So annoying, man. Yeah, that's it for this game. One out. Guys, so I've played a few matches with this guy, and this card has many advantages, but also a lot of disadvantages. What I absolutely love about him is his pace and dribbling skills. He's so quick on the ball, he has rapid turns, it is really tough to stop him. It's like you're trying to swap a mosquito, but he just keeps flying away, you know? <laughs> what I dislike about this card is his finishing skills. So many times that I really press the controller to aim in the corner and he still managed to shoot through the middle. This guy cannot finish for shit. At first I played him as a cam, but this is not a great position for him. You cannot really use that speed so much. When I started to put him out on the left wing, that's where he really started to blossom. Just make sure that after you dribble with this guy, that you pass the ball to your striker with great finishing skills. Otherwise, you will not score. Overall, I rate this card a 6 out of 10. Alright guys, thank you for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, hopefully it was helpful to you in any form or way. Let me know in the comments what you think about this card and subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time. Later!